So today I am talking about having your moon in an air sign. So that would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So your moon is how you relate to life. You know, it's how you emotionally handle relationships and situations that life throws at you. Having your moon in an air sign can feel a bit unstable and somewhat chaotic at times. These are people that like to work through their emotions either by talking about them openly with others or by having some kind of creative outlet like writing or music, something like that. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about Gemini and then uh, Libra and then Aquarius. So I will list below and I'll probably put it right after I'm done talking. The times to skip to if you don't want to watch every single moon sign, you just want to watch a specific one. So that'll come next. <laughs> Gemini. So out of the three, a moon in Gemini can feel the most chaotic. They will most likely find security in expressing their feelings to others. You know, like, they'll be the type to emotionally, emotionally, they'll be the type to just, um, like, to open up to people and talk about their emotions and their feelings. But it's also going to be important for them to express their emotions, you know, and have a way to understand and connect to themselves, you know, like when they're alone, to find that connection to be able to understand their emotions. Like, they need to be able to do that when they're by themselves as well. These people will be quite versatile, and they might handle situations or relationships in one way, you know, one day, and then the next day, it's completely different in how they react. You know, like, they'll totally alter their approach. This will be surprising as well as confusing to others, but it's because of the duality of the sign. These people might experience anxiety because their general emotional nature is so jittery and so um, restless. They're always searching for more and more knowledge. This can create a nervousness that will eventually lead to anxiety, you know, if they don't really like truly understand themselves as a person. They'll probably be very friendly as well as quite chatty. <laughs> Like, they'll most likely come across as, like, pretty high-strung, and they can seem easily distracted, especially in stressful situations, because they divert their, you know, attention elsewhere when they're feeling stressed, so they might seem like they're kind of all over the place. Um, you know, their distraction and the way that they do that is just what helps them cope with, um, feeling uncomfortable or stressed out. Okay, so let's talk about some celebrities that have their moon in Gemini. So, we have, uh, President Obama. Alyssa Milano, Gwyneth Paltrow, Heidi Klum, Jim Carrey, Jennifer Lawrence, Hugh Jackman, Jake Gyllenhaal, Ewan McGregor, Claudia, Claudia, <laughs> Claudia, <laughs> can't even say this woman's name, Claudia Sheffert, right? And that's a lot of models here for some reason. Um, <laughs> Jennifer Garner, Rachel McAdams. Khloe Kardashian, who is known for being, you know, pretty friendly, but also having, you know, she seems like she can be an anxious person, and um, she has kind of like a restless energy, I would think. Moving right along to Libra, so having your moon in Libra. Um, so to a Libra moon, a relationship is what is most important in order for them to feel security. These people are gentle souls who are romantic in nature, and they will love, like, the beauty and serenity that life can offer. They will dislike vulgarity and it will make them uncomfortable. So somebody that's like swearing all the time or is pretty crass or like making like really outrageously inappropriate jokes will probably like um, make a Libra moon uncomfortable. They might not tell you that it makes them uncomfortable, but it does. You know, though I describe them as gentle, they also are ambitious. They're the type to be very dependable, like a good friend to have, but um, and they hate conflict. They're going to avoid friction at any cost, which probably plays into how they are so dependable. They really don't want to rock the boat, so they might say yes to things, even if they really want to say no, um, just because they don't want any issues to arise. Peace is also just extremely important to a Libra moon, and they will hate fighting. They'll hate fighting around them. They'll hate being involved in a fight even more. These people are typically very likable people, um, they hate to feel secluded or rejected, um, left out in any way. They may actually change themselves for others due to their need to be in a relationship. They just feel uneasy and just not, like, secure or comfortable when they're not in one. 
So they might, you know, kind of like tweak things about themselves in order to, you know, come across as likable so that people want to be around them and with them. So let's talk about some celebrities with the Libra moon. Good old Julius Caesar had one. Bruce Springsteen, Alec Baldwin, Anna Nicole Smith. Hmm. Sinead O'Connor, uh, Lily Allen, Tina Fey, Claire Danes, S uh, Sylvia... P <laughs> Sylvia Plath, um, Kate Upton, Josh Holloway, obviously had to put him on the list because he plays Sawyer in Lost, so I love him. Emily Dickinson and Anna Sophia Robb. It's a long name. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we have the Aquarius moon. So it's a little bit of a difficult place for a moon to be in Aquarius because Aquarians tend to be detached, um especially emotionally, you know, so your moon is all about emotion and feelings and everything, so having it in Aquarius kind of contradicts each other. An Aquarian will care about others, <laughs> why well, keep saying Aquarian, I don't know, an Aquarius moon will care about others and they'll tend to be a sympathetic type of person. They'll feel security from stable relationships or feeling like they're part of a group that's working towards something, you know, like part of a group effort, um, working towards the greater good kind of thing. So these, so Aquarian moons, like unlike the Libra moon, will feel uncomfortable in an intimate relationship. Um, it's a tough spot for them to be in, and um, they do like to help others though. They can be kind of unstable, um, and it's kind of due to their cold nature, you know, like I said, they're sympathetic, but they're not empathetic. It's very difficult for them to put themselves in other's shoes. They can be somewhat selfish, you know, they like to feel like they're helping others and working towards the greater good, good, but actually like helping and understanding another person is like very difficult for them. So they can come across as a little bit cold due to that. Um, so they usually come across as very friendly people, but they have a hard time connecting on that level. Oh, my foot is falling asleep. I thought you should know. Ow. Ow. So, some celebrities with an Aquarius moon. My girl, Marilyn Monroe. We got Britney Spears, Princess Diana, Uma Thurman, John Lennon, definitely somebody that seems like he was um, instrumental in pushing for like the greater good of things and cared about world peace and everything, so um, makes sense. We have Eminem, Sandra Bullock. Ashton Kutcher, Victoria Beckham, who I think can sometimes seem a little cold. Ashton Kutcher seems pretty friendly, so they both have each of those dynamics going on. Um, I like how I talk about them like I know them. And Lil Wayne. So that is it about having... Ow, I'm really hurting the feet today. That is it, though, about uh, having your moon in an air sign. So I hope you enjoyed and I will finish up the series by talking about having your moon in a water sign next. So thank you for watching and have a great day or night.